okay back with me cool dude Clem just doing a little quick video here to let you know that I haven't given up on high voltage experiments although some people think I have anyway I thought I would try out the Slayer Exciter experiment see if I can get anything from it now when I first tried this it didn't work at all it turns out I got this primary connected the wrong way around but I soon sorted that out and I didn't actually expect the circuit to work at all, but apparently, it does. Now I'm going to power it from my homemade power supply. So let's just turn that on. I'm powering this on about 6 volts. It's drawing about 96 milliamps at the moment. I'm not going to put it on any more than that, because I've only used the BC547 transistor. For those of you who want to see the schematic, This is the schematic I'm using. I'm not getting anything like plasma or anything like that out the end of the coil. But I am able to light a light with it. Which I think is quite impressive. It's not very bright, but... As you can see... We get light. I'm actually going to turn the main light out so we can see this a little easier. Okay, there we go. Turn the camera's light on and the battery's gone right down. It's drawing about 100 milliamps at the moment. As you can see, I am lighting this light up wirelessly. It's not actually touching anything. And that's pretty amazing. This actually works. I haven't had to do anything to it to make it work. Now I've got all bits, all three bits on that now. I don't know if I'm providing part of the circuit, I'm just going to, um... Yeah, I think I'm providing a little path to the ground there, but... Pretty groovy.